whenever you give V115 an opportunity to hit you as hard as he can, he takes it all the time. Every day, twice on Sunday. Although it is Friday, it all works out just the same. So, game one of Loser's Finals, right? Unless this is a black check, and it looks like that's the case. I think Krim just wants to get uh, get those hand warmers down before. All right, never mind. I guess they just wanted a uh, bit of a slower start right there. All right. Close situation for Krim. Does get back on save right there. Throws out a couple of down tilts. All right. Free punish opportunity right there. And using those reverse banana tosses very nicely right there to trap these landings. Be doing a little better with that uh, banana in the grab. Oof! Just out of range was Cribfoish. He's going to have to uh, recover on a stage. That DI, a little bit suspect, but nowhere in kill range, so he's okay. That banana, and that's going to be it. That was a bit of a love tap right there, if anything, but uh, proves to be enough. And we've been seeing V lose his uh, stocks in very innocuous circumstances the last couple of sets, so. Interesting seeing that happen. Ooh, boost kick? Okay. Okay, middle survive. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was home and dry, but V had other words, and he evened that up pretty quickly, too. Plus it. Okay, that's that's one thing you definitely don't want to do right there. You see a man charging up with a ZSS down smash? Rolling into it is not... Wow. That was quick. That was way, 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 way too quick. He's not even giving me a chance to talk, but... Hey, you know what? He's feeling himself a little bit. He wants to play hard. And... Krim's just gotta... Just gotta find a way to not be on the receiving end of continued strings of punishment like that, like we just saw. I feel like in this matchup, he's just too prone to getting punished by, uh, by like, one stray, stray hit, and there's, like, one thing leads to another. The well kind of gets deeper. Or the hole kind of gets deeper. And by the time all things are said and done, it's pretty much the end of the set. V sniped that game really, really, really quickly. Although Chris had a pretty solid lead. That being said, game two, taking it to town and city. And, uh, okay, Krim's got the trap release at ledge, forcing V to uh, use that Zare. And V's got him off. Ledge trunk, okay. Finally gets some percent on the board right there with fair into double down tilt. Ooh, trades. Had the spacing right, he just messed up the timing of that up B. Okay. Grabbing it down. Throw. Waits to see what Chris commits to, but uh, Krim able to get away with the uh, monkey flip. Okay. Good pressure by V, forcing Krim really, really high up. Ooh, boost kick. How does this man DI? Okay, he's safe. And lands right into a boost kick, but still surviving. That's Krimfoish. Still thriving. And runs back and forth. And momentum. Swinging back throw right there. Krimfoish able to build up some percent. F smash from center stage. All right. Two. And just rolling back and forth right here, just trying to pick spots. Evening this game up pretty well, actually. All things considered, he was trailing pretty heavily. But that's going to be it. There you go. Neil 1 5, third time of asking. Boost kick from center stage. Bada bing. There goes that stock. There goes that man. And Krim. There you go. Using that up throw up air. Clean stock. Evening game. Applying a lot of early pressure on the stock right here. Down tilt on the getup. Definitely in a be between a rock and a hard place. Okay. Back throws him off. Assume stage control. And Krim looking pretty solid right here. 
He's got his chance. He keeps throwing him off. Gets that banana drop into a grab, into an up air. Not quite enough, but Krim on the brink. Trying to even the score right here. All right, back air, forcing him off stage. V again has to gamble a little bit with his recovery. Ooh, try to read that down B with the up air smash, but quite right there with the timing. Okay. Catch them a fair. V sitting at 147. Back throw? Not quite. V still living to fight another day, but up tilt might do the stock right here. Or back throw at ledge. And it took five games and two sets, but Krimfoish finally, finally gets one on V. And we have an even set. We definitely going to have to do a little bit of thinking here because uh, this is a situation he's been, up until now, pretty unfamiliar territory with Krim. Had his way with him earlier, but hey, things can change very, very easily and over the course of a night. Like, this is, this is different. Losers, you lose and you're done. There's so much more to play for. There's no second chances, and Krim realizing that. Runs right after him and grabs him out of that uh, down smash. Being able to punish that monkey flip spacing. Good stuff to Chris. Definitely uh, turning it on a little bit. Surely going. And again, he just has to be careful with that, uh, that grab. Back throw. Yes, see that with those up airs. They follow up though. I'm uh, doing a very, very good job just asserting as well in this first stock. Playing around the ledges very well. That's just known to do. Banana in center stage. This is the bait right here. Okay. Forces V to drop his guard and toss it. And turn the back air. Criminal Blue escape to safety right there. The monkey flip kick and that up smash from center. Gonna do the job. Krim with the stock lead. Okay, but he's got to get back on. V, did very good. Okay, he able to recover very quickly with those barrels. Down tilt, down tilt, down smash. Nowhere to go but down for V here. Oof. Pushing him off. Boost kick. Not quite going to do it. There's the eye pristine there. All right, good hop right there, baiting him out. Getting the banana toss. Back air from center stage. Not quite. Tries to hug the bottom, curve it nice and up, but V reading it all the way. Good stuff to him. Getting the read on that. All right. Up flip kick. Catching that landing with the up tilt, and uh, remember, all ZSS needs is just one opportunity to go to town. And on a stage like Battlefield, which can extend your combos pretty far, Krim's got to know the situation here. Probably been on the receiving end countless times, so he knows. He's just playing keep away. He's making his rolls. Trying to space himself, just get himself out of trouble. Banana trip, but no punish. Okay, shields that down smash. Gets stabbed away for his troubles though. Gotta be careful. Oh, but Krim just leaves himself hanging again, and I feel like Krim's been pointing to his controller a lot. Uh, there might he might be having some issues with it. Then again, despite all of that, V115 going to take that third game. Now finds himself one away from uh, sealing out the set once again, getting another set victory. All right, Battlefield once again. Game four is uh, stage of choice. And Krim. You have to feel for him a little bit because he, he kind of had that game in the palm of his hand, but it's never over till it's over. You just gotta, you gotta sense the job, you know? And if you can't do that, you just can't see it all the way through to the end. You're not gonna be able to deal, get those important victories. He looking like he has the upper hand, despite uh, him playing neutral for the most part, substantially better. 
but it's how you it's how you punish mistakes. And V is just he's just so good at doing that. He just has the intellectual sense to be in the right place at the right time over the years and over both games for all ends before. That being said, we looking to carry him all the way up to the top. Pops the drop low though. Okay, down tilt. All right, gets caught out with that uh, attack right there. Tosses banana up, uses it to his advantage right there, but Krim able to tech. Down throw into fair, not quite. All right, turn around F tilt. And a boost kick. Didn't quite get the job done, but again, forces him off stage. And that Zare finish? Crib waiting all the way, does get back on. Had the patience to wait that out. All right. Turn around fair. And of course, V into a bad spot. Uses that banana to trap him in shield, but just a smidge away. Preventing that stock. Okay, monkey flip. Sends him off. So we'll see how he plays this. Okay. Sits in shield. No punch. But goes to grab the banana, and as soon as he turns around, V was waiting for him with that back air. Down goes the stock. V now just one away from uh Renewing uh, acquaintances with Black Twins in Grand Finals. Of course, Krim might have a little bit, a little bit of something to say about that. Yep. Maybe, maybe. I feel like he was trying to go for the turnaround grab right there, but just couldn't get the inputs right. And Krim sat in place, threw out that up tilt, and that was that. Oh, definitely an opportunity to follow up right there for B. Okay. Bears through the platform right there for V. Putting a lot of pressure right there, but Krim trying to make it back. Oof. He knows V is very, very prone to some very head scratching mistakes at off stage, so putting that pressure definitely uh, assists that for Krim. Okay, let's get back on a ledge. V gonna reel him in. Oh, gotta be careful with that up B. Forced to down B and flip kick that uh, banana. And now he's off stage. Gotta be careful, but nice rebuttal by V. Pushing him off stage. Okay, Krim waiting his turn. But he gets reeled up by the grab. And he's gotta be careful. Okay, monkey flip into jump, into uh, rocket barrels. We safe. I'm trying to read that landing, but V opting to go high on those platforms. Smart back air, and that's gonna do. V in 1 5 with that 3 1 set win.